What up YouTube, hope you're all doing well. It's a nice and sunny day here in London, bringing out nature's beauty. And what better way to make this day even more perfect with the perfect pizza. Topped with our own marinara sauce, this thin crust pizza will be heavenly and out of this world. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Let's start things off with adding the yeast to some lukewarm water and leaving that aside for about 15 minutes until the yeast blooms. Whilst that's doing its magic, add the salt to your plain flour and whisk well so that the salt is evenly distributed. Then once the yeast has bloomed, add in the yeast mixture and start by mixing with the end of a wooden spoon. Once the dough starts coming together, use your hands and then start kneading the dough. To knead the dough, stretch the pizza dough away from you and roll back and continue. Then divide your dough into four equal pieces and shape them into balls. Transfer these onto a floured tin or surface and cover with a damp cloth to prove for about an hour or two or doubled in size. Whilst that's happening, let's make our marinara sauce. First up, I'm going to pick some fresh bay leaves and thyme from my garden, then kick things off with a dash of olive oil in a pan on a medium heat. Once that's heated up, add in your grated onions and garlic and your fresh herbs, which are the bay leaves, thyme, and a bit of dry oregano. Once you have a bit of color to your onions, add in a tin of chopped tomatoes and stir well. Once the tomatoes start becoming mushy, fill half of that chopped tomato tin with water and add to the sauce, along with some ground pepper and some salt. Stir well until the sauce takes on a consistency like so. Then set aside to cool. Whack up the temperature of your oven to its maximum setting. In my case, it's 300 degrees Celsius fan, which is about 570 Fahrenheit. Make sure you have your pizza stone or a flipped over tray whilst the oven is heating up. Once your dough balls have proven, flour your worktop generously and start shaping your pizza base. You'll find that the dough is going to be easy to stretch out Use gravity as your friend, and once it's about 25 to 30 centimeters in diameter, press around near the edge of the pizza base, and then it's time to add your toppings. Start things off with your marinara sauce. Make sure not to add too much, or otherwise your pizza will become soggy. Season the pizza with a drizzle of olive oil, followed by some parmigiano, and of course some mozzarella. Along with some fresh basil leaves. And sliced pitted black olives. Now this will be your classic margarita and it will serve as your foundation for your own signature pizzas at home. In my case, I added a bit of ham and a bit of bacon to make the classic ham and cheese pizza. To this, if you added mushroom and artichoke, you will get the classic capricciosa. To help me transfer the pizza to the oven smoothly and also adding another layer of texture to the pizza crust, I dust my paddle with some semolina. If you can't get your hands on semolina, then breadcrumbs will also do the trick. Transfer your pizza onto your piping hot pizza stone or flipped over tray and cook for about 8 minutes. And 
And there you go, my friends. Perfection. The crust is so crispy, with the center of the peak so soft, yet holding its shape and integrity, along with those simple toppings. Calling this classic perfection is an understatement. Hope you enjoyed this pizza recipe. Please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and of course, share with your loved ones. Grazie a Dio per l'Italia. Arrivederci.